Are, what, what are you? What? I'm gonna lie. What? Nervous about what? You act foolish all the time on my. I street. know I act foolish on your live. I don't act foolish on my live. I have an image to uphold. Oh, so what you said? Oh, because I'm a great host, huh? I'm, You're I'm a great good. host. <laughs> it's too much pressure. <laughs> it's too much pressure. I feel too much pressure. No, you got. I have an it. announcement to make, and I feel so much pressure. Like honestly. Breathe, relax, relate, release. release. If relax. you know that saying, relax. you might could win. Because some of y'all asses out there don't know that saying because you were born. Hey, baby. See, I love auntie. I love it when they call me auntie. Exactly. Understand. I'm grown out here. It just makes me feel better when it's like a rich in front of it. Rich auntie. I like that. Um. Anyway. <laughs> So I have an announcement to make and I've been trying to figure out. So what happens often with me is yes. I'll overthink something and then I just don't get to it because I want it to be perfect. So I'm really working on dismantling like perfectionism because it's never perfect. It's never perfect. And then sometimes I go too far left and I'm like, I don't care. Um, but I wanted to make an announcement and um, I have to be honest, this is inspired by my really good friend, Danielle Pinnock. She did this for a um, award show. She blessed um, a beautiful young woman with a dress that she was no longer going to wear, that she owned. And I want to do the same thing. And I, I was just so inspired by that. And I, I want to do that with, honestly, a lot of my wardrobe. But this in particular, going on this black bride journey going on this bridal journey i'm seeing how the expenses just add up add up add up and i'm like this is this is fascinating and in an interesting turn of events i am no longer wearing the dress that i picked several several months ago and so instead of trying to resell it or do anything like that i want to give it to a lucky bride i want to give it to a bride that is in need of a dress for their wedding it is hey, a and don't y'all be playing sorry to cut y'all baby don't <laughs> now don't come and be playing talking about um uh, i'm getting married <laughs> and you going to prom <laughs> or it's your easter dress <laughs> no no like this no dress you is... gotta be in no. need yes. like with real love to the person not you just met them three weeks ago on Pete Don't. Tinder. <laughs> hey, y'all want to like, listen. No, 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 listen. no, it's not that. You know? I mean, listen, if you met them on Twitter, Tinder, that's your person. I mean, I yeah, but it. not a week ago. I mean, shit. But at the I'm end of the day. Not a week ago. <laughs> but yeah, um, sorry, go ahead. No, you're fine. Um, so, so, yes, so I am going to gift a to a bride who's already in the planning process who just doesn't have a dress not someone who's like oh i'm getting married in five years or i haven't found my person whomever that may be i don't i don't we don't discriminate over here so whatever you into whatever that is that's fine but somebody that's going through the actual process yes. and and understanding oh, come on, now you know i don't play that you know i don't play dick i don't play dick i don't play dick my whole show is about strippers and nakedness. <laughs> this ain't it. Um. Anyway, uh, but nah, somebody who is really actually going through the process and and understanding the financial weight and responsibility yeah. that that entails, and then you know that just may want. It's like, damn, I really want this, but we got to sacrifice for this, so I may not be able to get a dress. You know, yeah. that that part. Somebody yes. who's actively in the momentum of getting married yes and thank you baby because i agree with that 100 percent. i i i that is how exactly how i want to articulate it is that is someone already in the planning process someone who just hasn't found that perfect dress i don't know if my dress is the perfect dress for for or my previous dress is the dress for you but um we are this is something that we both want to do this is something that i especially want to do 
Um, and especially seeing what the market is for young black brides out there or, or, uh, you know, I'm not a young black bride, you know, so it doesn't matter the age. There's no discrimination there either. No. It doesn't matter what age you are. It doesn't matter what the circumstance is. If you're a bride and you're going through the wedding process, I want to gift you a dress. Um, obviously there are, there are certain size parameters, but lucky for you, um, the dress was brought in so it can also be taken out. So that's also still an opportunity there. So, um, I'm going to be sharing more details. Um, it's going to be something I do relatively fast because it's just so gorgeous. And, um, I want to, I know that we're kind of coming out of wedding season and in the fall, I just want to, I want it, I want you to have it. So, yeah, so that's where we're at. I wanted to make that announcement. And before I overthought it, I wanted to go ahead and put it out there in the ether. She was scared, y'all. Um, I, I was, was like, get up there and just say it. Shit, just say it. Hey, I'm giving y'all a dress. But that's how we're different. We're be like, this was going on. And I'm like, well, this is how I want to. So I'm, I'm coming out of that stage in my life where everything has to be perfectly planned and I'm I'm coming out of that stage where it's like okay, so even jumping on live, that's not something I used to do because I'm like, well, I have to have everything perfect, and and now I'm like, I just gotta tell the truth. So, um, I hope that I haven't read any of the comments yet, but um, I hope it's all yeah okay. Let's see, y'all have any questions about that? All right, y'all, love y'all. We made the announcement. I'm hitting the treadmill. Come on, Billy. Oh well, there's that. Let me see. Let me see. I want to see what's going on. Um, so there are obviously some things that I gotta work out, like you know how to ship, who to who to pick, who's interested, who the brides are, how to even receive it. Um, I think what what we'll do is let's see what's in my bio, because I'm like, what we could do is if you. See you good, you good. Wait, is my whole email on in my bio right now? <laughs> what the hell? Uh-uh. My entire email address is in my bio. <laughs> Amateur hour. Um, so what we'll do is the email address. Why don't we do this? Send me um an email with the email address in my bio. And let me know your wedding story. Um, the dress as it stands right now is about a zero two. It's gorgeous. It is clavicle here. And it's a massive train. It is a heavy dress. It's like, I mean, I, I have a hard time walking in it. So it's like, maybe, I, I could be wrong. I got to get the details from Tawanda. But it feels like a uh, like 40 pound dress is heavy. Um, but send an email to the email address in bio in my bio. And then let me know your wedding story. Um, picture your wedding website. Um, and then, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to hopefully bless a lucky bride out there. Um, the dress was beautiful. Is beautiful. It's, gorgeous the dress is gorgeous and it's expensive um i'm not gonna express how much it costs right now um but it's it's an expensive dress and it's gorgeous um but it unfortunately it served me at a different time and i have a different look i'm going for now so there's nothing wrong with the dress it's never been worn ever besides getting it fitted to my body which i actually posted a little bit of that and i'll share some more of that now that i'm actually um gifting it to someone um i can also share pictures and everything like that so yeah i'm, I'm really excited i feel like i've been put in this position to bless others and i've always wanted to do it and i really want to shout out my girl danielle danielle pinnock because i wasn't sure how i was going to do it but I knew it needed to be done. And I want to do this moving forward with even red carpet clothes um, that I can just wear one time. You know.
this position i wasn't always in this position many times i had to borrow like my roommate's clothes many times i had to thrift shop many times um i just had to go through the ringer to look half decent you know or i i mean even buying clothes try to take it back to the store um for certain events that i felt like i needed to look good at so um i just want to start paying it forward so the wedding dress is the start but it's not going to be the end i got a whole closet of clothes that um i would like to share with young women particularly young artists because it's a really hard time for artists right now so uh once the wedding is done i'm gonna get into that that portion of it and um sharing giving gifting my clothes to young artists because it needs to be done because this is a show me business and you really do have to look good especially young women in this business you know, I'm kind of in the mentorship role now, and it's like I, I have to school the girls. Like, you got to show up like how you how how people want you to to look and how you feel. Um, and sometimes that requires a certain aesthetic, you know. And it's not it's not to say that you need to be be something you're not, but the difference between having lint on your garments versus not having lint on your garments it it presents a different aesthetic. So um, that's also something that I'm, I'm, I'm working on and how I can really scale my mentorship because I have like five, five kids that I mentor. I, I call them kids. They, they young adults, but that I mentor who can reach out to me for anything, but I want to really scale that to, um, to be able to share more. So that's my story. Um, uh, look at my braids, period. I'm always going to give you the braid shot. Period. Thank you, Lindsay and Tonette. And, um, yeah, that's it. Love y'all. Let me see. Any comments? I'm already engaged and we're in the process of planning our wedding reception next summer. Come on, sis. Send me that email. Um, let's see. <laughs> I'll be trying to tell Sky this ain't that, baby. Now you can you can walk around in the in the nude for me, not for the interwebs, because really we do you know this is a this is a relaxed home. I call it a sweat sweat sweatsuit house. Like when you come over to our house, put on a sweatsuit. We real comfortable over here. You ain't gotta don't dress up because you gotta take your shoes off at the door. So you might as well be comfortable. Um, I can't tell I can't tell the day of the big day. Um, but it's coming soon, like really soon. Um, what else? What else? What else? I'm already engaged and we're planning our wedding for now. Oh, I got that one already. Let's see who else. Okay. I think that's it. I love y'all. Send me an email to the email address in my bio. Wedding website. Uh, wedding story, photos, whatever you got. Um, again, this is not an age thing at all. This is, you could be whatever. I'm, I'm actually considered an older bride. So it ain't got nothing to do with that. I don't care what your age is. I don't, and I honestly don't care what your size is. If it wasn't just parameters on, I mean, the dress was fitted for me. So unfortunately it's just a little parameters. I think it may be able to be sized up to like maybe a four, um, but I'll get more details on that um, from the seamstress who sized it down. And, but I do think it was, I think it was like an eight when I bought it. Um, and then they brought it, they brought it in. So that's just a little bit more details. But it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And when I say the train on this joker is like, oh, I'm sorry. I have a little injury. I was dancing. Oh, Y'all yeah. know I'm a dance. Um, but the train goes all the way. Like, I can't, my arm not even long enough for the train. Um, so, okay, I'll share the details on my page. Send me your email addresses. I'll make a nice little announcement and I will ship it off to you at no expense to you at all. All right, bye.